Good evening. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. Why do Armenians have full legitimacy over Artsakh and Western Armenia? In the morning, Azerbaijan resumed shelling in the northern and southern directions of Artsakh. Congresswoman Talsi Gebert calls for U.S. to work with allies in removing Turkey from NATO. Commerson publishes sensational details of Turkey's participation in the war. 20,000 Armenians protested in front of the Azerbaijani embassy in France. Humanitarian aid to Armenia and Artsakh from abroad increases. The Halis River in western Armenia is in danger of drying up. Recep Tayyip Erdogan's Turkey supplied terrorists from northern Syria, armed and pushed the Azerbaijani dictator Aliyev to attack the Armenian Republic of Artsakh. In this conflict for their freedom, security and independence, the Armenians of Artsakh have all legitimacy, historical legitimacy. For thousands of years, Artsakh has been described by historians as a territory populated by Armenians. Greek historian and geographer Strabo Ptolemy and many others have confirmed the Armenian affiliation of this territory. Demographic Legitimacy Artsakh, whether independent, autonomous, or under the domination of foreign powers, has always been populated by a majority of Armenians. During the 20th century, the genocide from 1894 to 1923, the war against Turkey, or the Sovietization of Artsakh never changed this reality. Following the War of Liberation of 1989 to 1994, the 40,000 Azeris of Artsakh took refuge in Azerbaijan, from where more than 400,000 Armenians fled to join the Republic of Armenia. Legal legitimacy. Artsakh was officially in Armenian territory of independent Armenia from 1918 to 1920. At the time of Sovietization, even when Stalin arbitrarily decided that Nagorno-Karabakh should be part of the Azerbaijan SSR, he still gave it the legal status of an autonomous state. At the end of the 1980s, the Armenians of Nagorno-Karabakh, in compliance with the Soviet constitution, which provided for the possibility of the detachment, legally voided their separation from the Azerbaijan, first by the vote of the parliament of the autonomous state of Nagorno-Karabakh. Following the rejection of this demand by the Parliament of the Azerbaijan SSR, the will of the independence was confirmed by the referendum of the population of Artsakh. This decision triggered Azerbaijani hostilities towards the Armenians, then the military attack on the civilian population of Artsakh. The Armenians understood that they have to fight. They armed themselves and repelled the aggression imposing a ceasefire in 1994, which Azerbaijan had constantly violated. During the night, the situation in Artsakh-Azerbaijani conflict zone was generally stable and tense. Artillery battles continued in some areas, the Artsakh Defense Army reported Monday morning. In the morning, despite the agreement on a humanitarian ceasefire, the enemy forces resumed artillery shelling in the northern and southern directions. The Defense Army divisions resorted to appropriate actions to silence the adversaries' firing points, keeping the oper Keeping the operative situation under control, the Artsakh Defense Army added. In parallel with the fighting on the night of October 1819, Azerbaijan once again violated ceasefire agreement and opened fire on peaceful settlements in Artsakh, targeting civilian facilities. This was reported by the Artsakh State Emergency Situation Service. In particular, the city of Martuni, the communities of Urekan, Ishkhanadzor, Aigehovit, and Burkavan of Kashatak region were shelled. The information about the fact it and the damages is being verified, the service added. In a resolution introduced last week, citing Ankara's ongoing support for terrorists, Republican Tulsi Gebert called for the U.S. to work with the allies in removing Turkey from NATO. The Armenian National Committee of America reported on Facebook. According to the Facebook page of the Armenian National Committee of America, the resolution submitted by Gebert clearly states the facts of Turkey's attacks on Armenian forces and Ankara's support of terrorists so far. Several of the resolution's clauses address Turkey's hostilities and aggression against Armenians. Our military diplomatic sources claim that the current serious aggravation of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict was deliberately planned and provoked by Turkey, the article says. As Commerçant has learned following the Turkish-Azerbaijani military exercises in July-August, a significant Turkish group remained on the territory of Azerbaijan. It was intended to play a coordinating and directing role in planning and conducting the offensive operation in Artsakh. We are talking about 600 military, including a battalion tactical group of 200 people, 50 instructors in Nahijevan, 90 military advisors in Baku, 120 air technical personnel at the Gabala Air Base, 20 drone operators in the Dalar Airfield, 50 instructors at the Yevlach Airfield, 50 instructors in the 4th Army Corps, and 20 people at the Naval Base and the Haydar Aliyev Military 
Elementary School in Baku, Komersand writes. The article also provides detailed information about Syrian militants transferred by Turkey and their location at the front. During these days, Armenians all over the world are protesting against the war unleashed by Azerbaijan, sponsored by Turkey in Artsakh. There are also active demonstrations in France. The Office of the High Commissioner of Diaspora Affairs posted photo on its Facebook page attaching Paris today. Azerbaijani embassy in France was in flags of Artsakh and in just voices of 20,000 Armenians condemning the terrorism. The Ministry of Emergency Situations of Armenia continues to organize humanitarian aid on a regular basis. Since October 1, 40 trucks with humanitarian cargo have been sent to Artsakh and 107 trucks to different settlements of Armenia, the Ministry's press service reported. The humanitarian aid was distributed to the residents of Artsakh and to the families from Artsakh who have come to Armenia. The Kazan Mak Halis River of Western Armenia is alarming. The fish are dying in Halis, which is 1,355 kilometers long. In addition to the danger of drying up, the number of fish has begun to decline. The Halis River irrigates the lands of different regions of the country, started from Sebastia. In some provinces, arid areas have emerged due to the scarcity of river water, which plays a major role in irrigation and fishing. Halis, which irrigated agricultural lands, began to flow very slowly due to the extreme heat and cold gates of the reservoir. Now let us represent to your attention a song by Sassoon Ensemble. <laughs> You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.